All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping in. Good video today. We are going to be testing out a relatively new product for the Infinity Q50, both the, uh, really 2014 and up, it sounds like. Uh, initially, this part was made for uh, the 3.0T, so the 2016 and newer. However, we found that it does actually fit the 2014 and 2015 as well, and I think it's going to be a good one. What is it, you ask? Well, it is the rear differential brace from Pride Auto. You can check them out on Instagram, Pride Auto LLC, and I'll put a link to uh, the website in the description below. So uh, today is installation day. It's gonna be a quick and simple installation, fingers crossed. I'll let you know some of the uh, tools that you'll need to handle it, but first, I wanna do some testing to make sure or see actually if this part is even necessary for the Q50. It doesn't really matter how much power you make if you can't use it efficiently or effectively. Um, so this is just uh, another element that we can add, another piece to the puzzle, you might say, to make our uh, power transfer uh, more efficient, more effective, and uh, allows us to utilize every bit of horsepower and torque that we're able to produce with this platform. And you guys know that the VQ isn't a really a torque monster, so making sure that we use all of the torque that we do have uh, to our full advantage is, is a good thing. So I want to show you what we're going to do for the test. Uh, we'll test it, we'll, 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 we'll do some testing without uh, the rear diff brace, and then uh, we'll install it and we'll do a follow-up. So this is what I got planned. So if you're not familiar, the diff brace mounts to the bottom of the rear differential itself, and then up to a, a mounting spot, you can see the hole there. We got the GoPro mounted up under here. Well, we're going to mount the GoPro under here, and we'll be able to monitor it from the cell phone, but we'll also be able to look back at some of the footage. And then uh, hopefully when I piece this video together, we can put a side-by-side -side view of the rear diff without the brace and then again uh, with the brace and we'll see if there's any difference. All right, we got the GoPro mounted. It's hard to make out what we're seeing, but we'll pull it up on the phone. We'll make sure we have a good, good visual. And once we get out into the sunlight, you get a really good visual under the car with that GoPro. This is a sweet angle. All right, we're here at the testing grounds. GoPro set up. We're gonna do a couple of just small launches and uh, maybe a couple like uh, rolling accelerations just to see if we can see the flex. So let's take a look. Literally all you're going to need for this installation is a socket wrench, a 12 millimeter socket, a 14 millimeter socket, and a 14 millimeter open-ended wrench. This goes on the back side uh, between the subframe and the differential cover to get a hold of that nut. And because there's no clearance, uh, you can't use the ratchet again, so you really just need an open-ended wrench to hold that uh, nut in place while you tighten it down. And that's it. A jack and some jack stands will help as well. Get you a little clearance under the car if you need it. Uh, if you're lowered particularly, uh, but if you're not lowered, you may be able to do it without a jack stand. You could definitely do this, a jack and jack stands. You could definitely do this in your driveway or in your garage. Probably 15 minute installation. First thing we have to do, of course, is take these bolts out here. 12 millimeter bolts. I just drove this car so everything's hot under here, of course. Best to do this when this is cool, but we had to do testing. So a 12 millimeter bolt, we'll loosen these up and then the long bolt that is provided with the kit goes through this hole. Yeah, it goes all the way through. And uh, self, pretty self-explanatory. So I'll break these loose and we'll see what's up. These are pretty easy to break loose actually. There we go. The rear diff should be pretty well sealed with all of the other ones in place. Pretty long, we shouldn't have any issue 
getting them threaded back in far enough to secure this bracket. <laughs> I can do this part with one hand, but probably not the rest. So this is designed quite nicely. Everything lines up perfectly. I'm just going to snug these up or get them finger tight so the bracket is in place. diff cover is to install the bolt through the hole with the lock washer on the bolt head side and then the uh, the flared nut on the back side which seems which which totally makes sense so all right so I got that just finger tight it's very tight clearance I'm not sure if you can see up in there between the uh, the nut and the diff cover but there's enough to get the, the nut up in there and get it threaded pretty simply. And those are 14 millimeter, if you don't remember me saying that. 14 millimeter nut and 14 millimeter bolt. And again, these are 12 millimeter bolts for the rear diff. So now I'll just snug everything up and we should be good to go. The, the bolts on the diff cover first. You want to check torque specs. They weren't all that tight. As you saw, it broke them loose pretty easily with just one hand tapping the wrench. So I'm just getting them snug. With my calibrated elbow, of course. And now we'll tighten the bolt. And that's it, there she is installed. I did actually add a flat washer uh, between the bracket and the the uh, lock washer because the bolt was so close to the diff. I don't even know if I could get a, on the back side. I don't even know if I could get a piece of paper between it and the, the differential cover. And if there was any flex whatsoever, if one of these came a little bit loose and it allowed the diff to flex a little bit toward the uh, subframe, I didn't want that the end of that bolt to be pushing hard against the diff cover uh, causing any issues there so uh, adding just a little washer flat washer is not going to hurt anything between the crush washer and the bracket itself um, and it just kind of you know pulled that bolt away from the diff cover itself giving it a little bit more clearance and uh, so we're good to go Pretty snappy installation guys, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever, basic hand tools in the garage, in the driveway, no problem whatsoever. 
go review some of the uh, test footage here and just see uh, if the rear diff brace from Pride Auto LLC is actually doing anything, which I have a feeling that it is. Um, car feels decent. I can't say that anything stands out to me, but we're gonna drive you know, for the next few days and continue to test this thing and see if I can notice any differences whatsoever. Uh, the real test is going to be 0 to 60 times, but this is really kind of making a complete package. That's a whole different conversation. But um, it's, it, like I said, it's not anything that I'm noticing right now, but that's also a good thing. I'm not hearing any crinks and squeaks and cracks and noises, uh, so that means it's mounted firmly. Uh, should be okay. We'll get the car pulled into the garage here once I get home and take a look at the rear diff, make sure everything is still good. We didn't crack anything, break anything, anything like that. Um, but that's it. That's all I'll say. Uh, recommended up to this point, so check out the link in the description below. I think he had uh, a few in stock, but I imagine they're going to go pretty quickly, so uh, check them out as soon as you get a chance. And again, Pride Auto LLC on Instagram. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the uh, continued support. Stick around for the next video when we really do a full review um, and uh, give you my opinion on watch before you buy the rear diff brace. Uh, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one, guys.